Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. It is Tuesday, the 14th day of February 2012, approximately 10.30 in Honolulu, 4.30 in New York City, and this is the Daily Report for Gold and Silver. We do have the precious metals markets, which were trading unchanged to higher in the evening session, currently trading off. We have palladium down about $13, $29 lower in platinum. We have gold off about $6, trading at $17.15, and silver $33.40, putting it off about $0.32 cents on on the day. We've run into a real wall of resistance and we have a market that can be best characterized as slowly meandering down and sideways with no real upside action lately. It appears as though we are awaiting the special meeting that will go on in Europe with the European Union and that is in regards to the austerity package and the bailout or rescue loan that they are putting together for Greece. First chart that I do want to take a look at this morning is a Henkin chart. It is a Henkin chart weekly gold chart. And let me go ahead and line that up for us a little bit better than this traders. What I'm noticing on this chart is that when we take a look at the different levels of resistance and support, you can see I've put two basic bands in but this is a basic extension and this Fibonacci extension that we are looking at simply takes the low at the beginning of the rally 2011 all the way up to our record top right in here and then from there we run an extension and the extension runs straight up so the easiest way to read it is a move in this marketplace of 100% would be 21.23. In other words, if this move was equal to this next rally. Now, you can see that this 17.41 is certainly an area that we have stalled at. Over the last three weeks, excuse me, four weeks, we have had a high that went two attempts to break it and then of course we're still trading it's only Tuesday now but on each occasion the market was unable to really take anything out now we're in at 1580 we have stops below 1706 and if the market does backtrack we're going to get out with a very very nice profit that's not really my concern my concern is being able to maximize the profit on this position and really see where it's going to take us to. Traders, we are looking at a 720 minute bar chart. In other words, two bars per session or day 1440 in a day in terms of the amount of minutes. And it is still my belief currently that we are in our wave four. This is a sub minor count, of course. This would be when we take a look at the big picture. We have our top right in here. Then we get an A correction, B wave, and then our C. Now then from C, we go into wave number one. Wave number one is going to start the entire impulse drive itself. And within that intermediate one is a minor count. The count is what we're looking at. And the way that I have been really putting this count together right now is that we're currently in wave four. In other words, one, two, three, and four. I am expecting to find support in this area. This is at 1700. I think that, as I said last week, 1700, 1690, 95, that should be our lows if, in fact, it goes to test back below 1700. And at that point, we will enter the last sub or minor count wave, which is going to be five. And typically, and typically is not really what we normally see, but typically you're going to get a move equal to that of wave one. That's a typical wave five. And so what I've done here is the same type of Fibonacci extension. I've drawn a line, a Fib extension from here to here. 
and then I've started it at the low. It's a little bit actually above the low, but at the low. And then what we get from that is a 100% mark here and our 75% mark here. So this is really what I'll call my sweet zone or my target area. If in fact it can break above that 1741, 1750 area, which has truly been giving us some resistance. Silver, this is our daily chart, candlestick format, spot or cash silver. And the one thing that is concerning me about this, I, we're seeing a lower day with uh, a stock market that's actually got a little bit of steam, but you've got this rounded top here, very similar to this rounded top here. When we look at it, we've had a series of rounded tops before, and those have always been indicative, at least in silver recently, of a market that's headed lower. We know we have stops right now. I believe they're at 3280. We're in at 2810. Again, we've got really good profits because we entered really in a good area. We've got protective stops if the market wants to break this support, and this support should hold. You can see that on a number of days it's come near tested it but has not broken through that area so that to me is indicative of a market that is trading sideways or simply taking a breather before trading higher and when we look at our Henkin weekly even though it's a very very small candle it does lack that lower wick that's a good sign but it is still in green. So in terms of the longer, bigger picture for us, it's still in a buy or a market that wants to move higher mode. We'll have to see how that pans out over the trading week this week. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We'll talk to you tomorrow on Wednesday for another daily update and review. Bye-bye.